Please excuse the band-aid on my finger. I've been watching a lot of master class and although they do teach you how to sharpen a knife the proper way, they don't teach you how to not catch the knife when it falls and slice your finger about three inches in. It's not three inches, but I did bleed for 45 minutes. Hi, I'm Megan Mattoon, and aside from being partially wounded, I'm here to tell you that you don't need to wait for things to be right to get what you want. A couple years ago, people would ask me what I wanted to do, like all the way down the line, and I would always say, I want to have my own home goods and travel goods line. And I was like, why do I have to make an entire company, an entire production, a whole thing just to have better travel goods? That's insane. I'm taking into my own hands, well, own hands minus one working finger, and I'm gonna make my own good travel goods without making a whole company. So that's what I'm gonna do. Don't wait for circumstances to be right in order to get what you want. With that being said, let me get on my soapbox about travel goods. It's 2020 and by now we should have definitely figured out two things. One, how to have cute travel goods, and two, how to not be mad at someone when we wake up when they wronged us in our dreams. These are things we should know by now. And now, let's know them. I found this leather clutch last year at a thrift store. It was originally from American Apparel and I burned Burnt it. That's not a selling point at all. Look, I'm honest. I needed to share with you all of the information I have on hand, and that is part of it. I really like this, but it is still full leather on the inside, and also, I need it bigger. I want to travel with something that can hold all of my full-size products, but I don't want to use Ziploc bags just for sustainability reasons. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this bigger with the inside being waterproof. It's gonna be able to be cleaned and better than this. Me saying I'm gonna make something better than a corporation? Delusional! I mean, they did go bankrupt, so. Last year on vacation, I thrifted this leather skirt. I bought it just for the fabric. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I'm gonna make a leather pouch that is better. Then what? Who knows? Anything can be good if it's better than something bad. I don't know how this will turn out, but it'll be better than the worst thing. Here's what we do. Take off our clothes. Take it how you want. I'm not apologizing for anything I say anymore. All right, what we're gonna do, pop the tag, inside it out. The inside of this, the lining, which I was unaware of because I've never insided this out yet, it looks a little waterproof. I wonder if it is. Nope. That just looks like it's now part of the skirt. I'm just gonna take the lining out of this entire thing because it's honestly all too much for me. Lining away. So now we're left with the bare bones of our suede and wow, I understand why they put that lining in. Woof. From here, I'm just gonna cut alongside all of the outsides, wherever there's a hem or a seam or buttons or anything like that. I'm just gonna take it off so we really are just left with a square of fabric. Now that I'm cutting it, I actually probably could have used the hem that's already hemmed and looks amazing, but now it's too late and no handouts. We're doing this all on our own. For what reason? Just so we know that we can. So now we have our glorious, just not really flat piece of fabric. So where this skirt starts to bubble is where I'm going to cut and that is gonna be the top. I'm gonna use fabric chalk because it's here for me to use and I'm just making life hard on myself by not wanting to. I haven't thought this through all the way, but I do know it'll be fine in the end. I don't know what I'll do, but we're gonna figure it out soon enough. If we can match up these lines and make it even, hot! Here is water resistant fabric and I'm just gonna cut the same dimensions. Now I can see how bad my cuts were. Hopefully this will get fixed at some point through this process. I'm just gonna peek through and see exactly where the line is on the leather and then eyeball it and draw the line here. Making sure that when I fold it over, it's still taut so that it lines up properly. We're gonna take some liberties on that one. I'm clipping the two fabrics together so that they can stay together while I try and match up these lines. That looks good. I really hope this needle can go through all of these pieces of fabric. I honestly don't know how this is gonna go, but let's just do it and find out. I'm going this way with my fabric because I pinned it the wrong way and I'm not gonna fix it. This is going pretty well. I'm gonna turn up the speed. Oh no, my pin is inside of the fabric. How do I get it out? How do I get it out? I'm just gonna sew the pin in and then it'll come out on its own. That's how I feel about splinters. I also heard you could put bacon on a splinter overnight and then your splinter is gone the next morning. Some stranger at Walmart told my mom that when I was like five. That's beautiful. 
that stitch looks really good. So now we have our general width of it. I'm gonna cut the excess off even though I'm not quite sure about anything. If I'm gonna need this in a bit, oops. I made a decision and I'm rolling with it. No second guessing 2020. We have our lining, that's good. I'm just going to draw a curved edge. I'm eyeballing this, which I should not. When you're going over parts that have really thick densities, go slower because breaking a needle, oh my God. This part doesn't have a seam. So instead of going up and creating another seam because we don't need that, I'm gonna follow the curvature and then I'm gonna sew off. You sew off of it and then you tie a knot so that it becomes a seamless seam. Oh my God. Can you see this? I'm not flicking you off. I just, this is full of hair. That is done. I am feeling really good about this. Please keep it up. I don't want this to go anywhere south. Where's my zipper? Where's the zipper? I have a blue jean zipper. It's nine inches, which I don't know if that's long enough. Oh, if it's not, this'll be so fun. Really short, really short zipper. Too short of a zipper. You would think nine inches is longer than this. I've never seen nine inches. This zipper is too short, damn it. Let's not freak out. We need a zipper that's 16-ish inches. If it went too well, it wouldn't be realistic. So you're welcome for keeping it real. What we can do is hem. So let's. I really like these little clips. They're coming in a lot of handy. A lot of handy? You know what's something to celebrate? That both of these are lining up. Look how pretty that is. It's like someone tried. Always my favorite. I'm measuring around the entire pouch, 10 and three quarters, and then pinning alongside the very top of that. Me? Feeling great about this. Let's sew it, and then I guess we have to leave our house to go to Joanne's. The leather is so much for this to handle. Rather the pins break than me, right? <laughs> oh my God, this is so gorgeous. We're so close to being done with this project had I prepared better. Going to Joanne's, see ya with a 16 inch zipper. Okay, we have returned with a zipper. It's 22 inches, definitely long enough for us. We're gonna copy this and just make little rectangles of this to hug our new thing. So we have our two pieces. I'm gonna cut the excess of this zipper because we don't need all of this. I think I messed up. Are you serious? How I'm gonna fix this? Great idea. I'm just going to cover the edge of this with one of my Huggies, gonna call it a huggy, so that when it's sewed, it'll stop when it stops. I'll pin it in place, cause there's a lot going on. I'm just gonna throw it in the sewing machine just so we can like get on with our lives. It seems like I don't enjoy sewing. I do, it's just hard. Once I put my little huggy here, then all of this will end up being excess. So I'm just gonna cut that right now. Great, we have our 16 inch zipper. Now we do the exact same thing with this one. Honestly, this looks really good. Oh my God. Did I just learn how to do something cool? We're gonna match up the edges to the edge of this. Oh, look at that peek through. No, 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 no. Everything is fine, but it might not always be. I've got to stop. Everyone stop freaking out. I said stop freaking out. Okay. It's working kind of. So let's just pretend like we don't know that we're doing it very wrong. It's not even sewing on it. What is this sewing to? Itself? There's just no thread in the needle. <laughs> what I've been trying to tell you this whole time is just there's no thread in the needle. If I were gonna be doing it, the one thing that I would make sure is just that the thread was in the needle. What the hell? This looks like roaches. How did that happen? Did I just caramelize thread? We're gonna keep going as if I didn't just see the most horrific thing come out of here. Try again. This time, thread in the needle. I'm gonna back stitch over the last part just to secure where the zipper is meeting the other side of the bag. Side one looks incredible. Look how beautiful that is. I'm gonna get as close as I can to the very top of this and then whatever I can't reach, I'll hand stitch. I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera because this is about as riveting as watching a live stream of a tax return. All right, the last stitch has happened, frantically cutting the excess off because I really want to see how we did. Oh, we went through so much, but was it? Oh my God, I just made this. Are we seeing? Are we seeing? I don't think we're seeing. Water resistant, perfect pouch. This color palette is yes. That is unequivocally hot. Oh my God, final test. Can this be straight up? Oh my God. Oh my God, look.
I can feel myself growing as a person. I am so proud of myself. Can't believe I made this. I'm emotional. I think I like mine better than this too. This is what we had and this is what we have. I mean, I have no outro. I need to go be with this because this is the beginning of our life together. Thank you for being a part of the inception of my future. Come on.